Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This one is just Cinema 4D based. So learning how to use global illumination and ambient occlusion to make your renders look a bit more realistic than what you get out of the box. And if we hit render, it looks rubbish. So we're gonna make this look a bit more realistic. And to do that, we're gonna use a HDR map and then use a series of lights and then add global illumination and ambient occlusion. So, first we need to create a sky object. Create a new material under luminance and then find a HDR map. I'll just use one of ours. You can then brighten it up a little bit if you need to. Turn colour off and go to illumination tab and then select polygon light. And untick receive GI. Put that on your sky. And if you hit render, spin it around a bit. you'll notice it's not done anything. So we need to enable GI. So go to your render settings. Under effect, click global illumination. And then you get a do, you do get a fair few options, so it can be quite scary at first. But what we want to do is you want to keep that on evidence cache and then light mapping for this one. QMC can be a bit better but for this purpose it's pointless. So once we've done that <coughs> and we hit the render button you can see it's starting to calculate a more intelligent lighting setup. Looking a lot more realistic. So a quick fix for outside scenes would be doing an ambient occlusion pass on top as well. So anywhere where there's these lines, it will create dark shadows and you can control the amount. So let's just use that by adding ambient occlusion on and then just see what it does. All these little effects do add to render time obviously, but it's giving you an instant more realistic feel without doing too much work. So you can make this more subtle. I tend to use lighter greys, just like Disney animations. Mm, looks a lot more believable. We can go back in and edit the brightness of our light as well. that looks a lot better. You've then look, obviously got the option of adding your own lights in as well. I think it could be quirky and have one there. But it does, it just starts to make your renders look a lot more realistic. And by having lights in the right places as well as your HDR map can make it look a lot more believable and realistic. So similar to the Octane tutorial. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and now you know how to get more realistic renders out of the box of Cinema 4D and it doesn't take as long as people think. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. 